Okay, um, just, just for your information, here you could also put some properties in order to create your setters and getters for your instance variables. If you're not familiar with that concept of setters and getters, I will talk about them later on in, in some future videos. So please bear in mind what I'm showing to you right now is not exactly the, the most elegant way. However, it's, it does work what I'm going to show you right now. Okay, so let's just leave everything like this here and let's move on to our view controller. So, let's, uh, before we're gonna start out with our view controller, what we have forgotten up to now is that we go to a view controller and here we have three UI elements. And as Xcode makes a difference between whether you create your UI elements manually or via the interface builder so you have to indicate that to the uh, to xcode as well how do you do that you go to our view control there we already declare our variables however here you have to include ib outlet this tag here so i'm going to cut and paste it for every variable here so we need those three IB outlet text in order to show to Xcode, okay, listen, uh, Xcode, we are going to use our interface builder in order to manipulate the data regarding those three um, UI elements. Okay, and you see these three bubbles here. These three bubbles are empty, but they need to be filled with something. So how do you fill them? You fill them via going to view controller enter our files owner and if you click on connection inspector there you see the three outlets bear in mind outlets here is if you go to view controller h these are our outlets okay so bear in mind if you change something here it will it will uh, appear here if you click on files owner okay so these three bubbles all already um, you, you see them again, what does this mean? So now you have to hook up those three outlets with the UI elements on your uh, view controller. So for this cool button here, we go to a button. For a cool label, we go down here. Oops, I just go back. Label down here and text field down here. Okay, so everything's hooked up. Now we can work with our um, IP outlets. Okay, so let's go to a uh, m file. So here you have two very important methods. Just leave this here like it is. We're not gonna talk about this here, but about these two. So every view controller has a method which is called view did load and view did unload. <clears throat> in the view did load method, you declare what should be loaded for this particular view and here what should be unloaded. So the two methods already indicate what to do via their uh, names. So in this case, the, the method super view did load needs to be launched in general in order to execute everything which is included in this view did load method. So you can put it down here and let's just use our variable my first cool label. So this label here has some text and we're gonna say that this text should be my first cool label. Okay, so we also have a variable which is called my first button. In this case, you have a title label and a text. This is pretty different in comparison to a label because um, Xcode makes a difference between uh, those two elements regarding setting texts. So please memorize how to um, set texts for each UI element. My first cool button and lastly we have our UI text field 
which is also a text. So my first call text field. Okay. So let's just attend it so you can see everything is fine up to now. Okay, let's just take a look at what happened up to now. Okay, and build succeeded. And here we go. Everything is fine. So you can see my first cool text field, my first cool button, and my first cool label are all set, all the text for each UI element. So it worked. Okay, so you can see what we have done up to now is we created here our three uh, UI elements. We dragged and dropped them to our view controller. We um, created the instance variables for these. We set the IB, IB outlet tags for each variable. We went back to our view controller to files owner. We hooked them up with the view controller and we went back to our view controller.m and we set uh, the text properties for each UI element by um, setting a specific text, which in this case was my first cool label, my first cool button, and my first cool text field. Okay, so this is actually what you had to do in order to create those UI labels by the interface builder. Okay, so this is one method how to create your first iPhone app. So what I'm going to show you to do right now is how to create um, those three UI elements manually. Good. In order to do this, bear in mind that this view control zip file is redundant. You don't need to you don't need this view control zip file if you want to program every every UI element manually. Why? Because this view control zip file actually is nothing else than a an XML file, and you can also check it out by open as source code. And here you see that you have an XML file which stores all the data regarding your, your UI elements with the, with the place, uh, with, with its widths and heights and its text. For instance, if we look in, if we look for my first cool, for instance, my first cool label, so you see down here that it is found and highlighted, which means that the text I introduced previously in by the interface builder was stored down here. So everything is fine. So, however, I changed this text a little um, via my .m file. I, I also um, had some space between each word. So this text here was overwritten by this text here. However, in general, if you create an element with some text here, it is stored in an XML file. So this is the most important thing. So if you program that manually, you don't need that. So in this case, we will delete all these three UI elements because we don't need them here because we're going to program them manually. So in order to do that, we need to um, memorize one thing. If you program your UI elements manually, you must not use IB outlet tags. Why? Because those tags are only used for creating UI elements via the interface builder. So don't forget, IB stands for interface builder and it is an outlet for the interface builder. So remove them, we don't need them. Good, so we cleaned everything, we cleaned everything up. So this is so we're good to go with your with your control.ih file. Now what we need to do is we have to program each element by by allocating and initiating memory for it, and we also have to render each UI element, and we have to set some properties for each element. So how would do we do this? I'm going to show you. Okay. Let's just create some space between those two because we need to be sure where we are and we're going to use it with the label. Okay, <clears throat> so we will create 
some label, UI label, and we also need to make sure that we initiate it. In it. Mm, wait. Uh, sorry, sorry folks, I have to allocate some memory, but of course, initiate with frame and we need to give it a frame we say cg rec make so this is pretty important here here you say that where should should it be placed so these two coordinates are important so on the axis whether um, it is in the uh, upper left corner or the right corner and what it, what is its width and height so let's just use 10 Let's just use 10 here, so it's 250, and let's just say 50. Okay, semicolon, and we move on. First label. So in this case, um, let's just give it some background color. We got this, my UI color, um, sorry, color, orange color. Okay, another property is the text color, for instance. We can also say that we want to have some different text color. So, you, we can also say UI color. And mm, let's just use some green color. Okay, so we already have our text, so we reuse that. And what you also can do is you can check out the text alignment for instance we can also say that we want to use it we want to align it more to the left hand let's just use this here and voila so this is so going to go with that so now we need to do basically the same thing for our 